All right, so for the first one it says, enter the value of five times, so this right here means times, five times 13.5 minus 4.5. All right, so how do we do this problem? There's two ways. The first one is PEMDAS. If you guys remember this from maybe fifth or sixth grade, uh, it's kind of an acronym. Uh, it means you start off by doing the parentheses first, uh, then you do your exponents, then you do your multiplication, then your division, then your addition, and then finally you do your subtraction. That would work for this problem. Um, but the way we talked about it in class, um, you know what, I think PEMDAS would do just fine for this problem. All right, so let's start off by seeing if we have anything for parentheses, P. Uh, if we take a look, we do have something for the parentheses. We have 13.5 minus 4.5. So we can go ahead and start working that out. I'm going to do it right here in the bottom. So 13.5 minus 4.5, line it up. 5 minus 5 is 0. The decimals carried over. 3 minus 4, we can't do that. So I'm going to go ahead and borrow the 1. So 3 becomes 13. 1 becomes 0, and now we do it again. 13 minus 4 is 9, and so we're going to have 5. So I'm going to bring this down 5 times, and then everything in the parentheses is just going to simplify to what we got over here, which was 9.0, which is just 9. All right, awesome. All right, <clears throat> we can keep going with PEMDAS. So we did our parentheses. Now we have this exponents, which we don't have. Uh, next we have multiplication, which we do have, 5 times 9. Uh, let's see, 5 times 9, that's just going to be 45. And we're done. So there's nothing else to do. There's no division, no addition, and no subtraction. So we're just left with the final answer of 45, which matches up with the answer. Uh, that's given by the Smarter Balance Assessment. So yeah, that's how you do that one. It's really just testing you on PEMDAS, which is, the general idea is order of operations. All right, hope that makes sense.